<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie, and I'll tell you why I have a smile on my face in a minute. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back. And it is her. It's like that scene in uh, Wayne's World. <laughs> There's the old giggle box over here. <laughs> Candace is here, which is good. Um, it, it, the thing that we were just laughing about right before I started rolling, when Candace came in here, I was working on edit for a video that's going up before this video, obviously. You would have already seen that video. But in this video, I'm pulling, when Candace walks in, I had already pulled, let's see. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I had already pulled a statue thing when she walked in. You can see right here. I pulled this little statue guy, put it on the bench right there, right here, basically. And then right after that, there's Candace. She walks in and she's, hi, morning, blah, blah, blah. And then just now, I clean the bench off like I always do. Like before I'm, when I'm ready to start, I've always clear the bench and usually I'll wipe it down and you know get it ready to pull orders and pack, right? And Candace walks over here and she's like, she points at the bench, she says, Didn't you just pull something? <laughs> I said, Didn't you already pull something? Didn't you already one? pull something? Where is it? Like she was looking at the bench, like, where is it? <laughs> but she had watched me. When she came in, she had watched. She looked at the screen and saw me pull something on and put it on the bench on the. Well, it was already sitting on the bench when I looked at the. On screen. the video, yeah, you saw it on there, and then you did, couldn't figure out that that was not real. <laughs> <laughs> alternate dimension. <laughs> you got confused between I'm video like, where's and. Where's that thing you already pulled? Candace, that happened on the <laughs> make believe world on the computer. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's what we're. Uh, that's uh, what he has to deal with today. I, I wonder why we make so many mistakes around here. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah, even know. you shipped that yesterday. We don't even know what reality is in here. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But anyway, good morning, everyone. Uh, it is garbage day. It's Wednesday. Um, supposed, Actually, the weather was supposed to be so bad here today, storm-wise, that they canceled school in Baton Rouge. They canceled school out here where we live. Molly didn't have to go to school today because of this horrible weather and every time they do that like we don't get the weather which I'm fine with oh yeah trust me um yeah it's that bad storm it, there's already been like a dozen tornadoes in the last 24 hours between between four states it's horrible I mean there have been people that lost their lives homes injured um yeah it's really bad but here here like the the wet the, like the the storm started moving north so thank goodness we're not catching it yeah. um i'm thinking there's some kind of front came in from the gulf and kind of pushed it up but now molly got a day off of school for nothing yeah which is good yeah for her that's fine i'd rather them err on the side of caution on something yeah, like that i don't anyway. want her on a school bus when a tornado comes through you right know? right i don't want to be in the shed when a tornado comes through either oh no I, like I usually put my phone on silent because of, I don't want to like it ring in when we're filming or stuff but today I didn't because I want to hear any alerts that come through because we still under a warning until like one o'clock. So. so Candace what are you about to work on? I um, think I'm going to do some Walmart pens first thing. This Walmart week. pens? Yeah. Okay. Right I'm on. feeling kind of lazy. I, I understand. I, I felt like that yesterday. I feel uh, like that today too. This, this stuff over here we're waiting on those two lights for that. I am going to get this box list of the day. And we have this Marlboro, I can't see. Marlboro. <laughs> Marlboro. <laughs> I, I have never. Marlboro, I've I never guess. been able to say that. It's always been such an awkward word to me. Oh, it is. And I mean, I was a smoker like over 20 years ago. And I would go in the store to buy my Marlboro. And I would just fumble the words and they automatically like, okay, this chick is nervous. She must not be of age. <laughs> I always felt so awkward. But anyway, we're gonna get some of this listed today. I went through it yesterday and I had flashbacks of LSU onesies because I started pulling stuff out of the bags and I saw stains and I'm like, here we go again. Not all of it. Not all of it. We do have at least six good shirts and um, two hats, maybe three hats. I need to see if I can clean them, um, which I'm happy with because minimum the shirts are going to bring 25 i think more around maybe 40 to 50 
and that's times six, so that's no, that's awesome. That's great profit. No, I'm not complaining about that. Yeah. As long yeah. as some of them were good, I was happy. Yeah, we paid twenty five dollars for the stuff, and uh, our estimation right now is a you know a couple hundred bucks worth of inventory. Yeah. So I, that's fine. Yeah, and that's if we like the ones that do have some stains or spots on them. I'm gonna try to clean them, and we'll sell them as pre owned. Right. Um, I was telling Lonnie they used to make this Clorox bleach pen so you can just spot treat because regular bleach is like water when you put it it just kind of wicks out in the fabric but this bleach pen was like a gel they discontinued it they don't make it anymore you can buy it online like Amazon for scalpers I saw I saw people uh, scalping it scalping bleach pens or stain pens on Amazon for like 60 something dollars <laughs> so what? I found a, a website on how to make your own, <laughs> so I'm gonna yeah. try that out. Oh, it's just base. It's it's basically bleach, and then you put cornstarch in it to make it more like a gel, and then you put it in one of those squeeze bottles, like a condiment squeeze bottle, and then you can just squeeze it where you need it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out on these shirts, and of course you have to wash them afterwards because if you leave the bleach sitting on there, it'll eat through the fabric. So okay. it's basically like treat it throw it in the wash okay so we're gonna test that out i'm gonna um list video games again today probably after we pull some orders so let's go ahead and get started oh one other thing i wanted to show y'all before we started i bought a bunch more um i bought some different boxes a couple of days ago these we actually have more uh, some more here i don't know i need to redo that whole box thing but instead of using these, because we, we have these 644s, and then the next size up, we have 864s here, which, I mean, it's a different size, but they're kind of close. And uh, I went ahead and bought some of these again. These kind that fold up. They're stronger, they're faster to put together. And they're about the same price and they're a little smaller so we, we sell so much stuff that like fits that song. huh they're like that song. what song better stronger faster yeah except kind of maybe backwards from that talk about uh what, what's the name of that group da punk something das daft punk daft yeah not das daft daft punk yeah that's right <laughs> So anyway, we bought a hundred of those. I think we're gonna start stocking these instead of the 644s, but we'll see. First up, Pocket 7. This is a Digimon right here. And this is like one of the smallest ones we had. It's a little tank looking guy, y'all can see. This little dude sold for $39.99 plus shipping on top. So. This will be perfect for one of those new boxes I just showed y'all. And the good thing about these boxes too, basically take one piece of bubble wrap and that's all you need for void fill and it won't like shake around or anything like that. And also this is about the smallest in this dimension that you can fit a regular six, six by four label on. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's actually a blank label on it because I tested it. <laughs> I tested it when we got these in. Sold a card. 1D U58 Jean or Jean Gray. Suspended animation card. Sold for $4.99 plus eBay standard envelope shipping. And the other card location, or one of the other card locations for Bravo, I think it's A, I'll bring it over here. A27 is what I'm looking for here. A27, yeah, this guy, Bishop, he sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. One Alpha sold a football helmet it's behind here this we got at a a viewer's garage sale actually part of a big lot of stuff we bought this the same time we bought the walmart pens and it worked out 
worked out well i mean i knew there were condition issues here obviously clearly but i also knew that people buy these to customize them and stuff like that so I went ahead and got it anyway and sold it for 29.99 plus shipping on top that's an expensive helmet if it's uh newer and in a very you know like great condition six delta we sold some fontanini i'm trying i'm still trying too hard it's not coming natural this fontanini ornament gloria angel ornament sold for 14.99 plus shipping on top i'm i'm gonna keep trying every now and then mu8 we sold a teenage mutant ninja turtles belt buckle this guy right here for 21 dollars 24 plus ship and i just got candace to find this mr peanut we didn't have a location but uh this this mr peanut sold for 19.99 plus ship we had a we had a couple other ones but we have one that was like this candace we had okay so we had one still in the bag mm -hmm. one with a tag okay and one without a tag and this is the one without a tag, a tag yeah. okay so you sold this one the cheapest yeah. this guy sold for 19.99 plus shipping on top they were all in like really good condition then and one more thing alien drawer we sold this this is a wizard of oz which wizard of oz is always decent at least decent and sometimes really good but this is swift peanut butter it's the name of the company that made it i guess or so i don't know what the story is with this thing but we sold it it's vintage and we sold it for 14.99 plus shipping on top what you got candace okay. we didn't show them this we, we went out, we went to a few uh oh that's a nice purse yeah. we went to a few garage sales on what saturday yeah we only picked up a few things it was pretty lame yeah it was really bad but um this is one thing we picked up and like one of the reasons we picked this up well number one it was five dollars yeah so that was a good reason and number two uh we wanted another smaller thing and like we could bring that to the house if we want or if we go camping right um yeah it's good portable it's 16 by 16 cube size it's kind of big yeah actually um so we thought it'd be good to have just a spare and for smaller stuff you know we'll see We're, we'll set it up now and see how uh see how we like it but yeah it's probably not going to be as good as this one i'm thinking but we'll see oh it's got like a good it's got led light it. no it's yeah no, that one does too believe it or not but yeah it's got built-in led lighting so uh we'll see it has a light diffuser in it too apparently okay let's put it together okay all right candace uh we put it together real quick and it's looks okay i think it'll do the job it's better it'll... than like if, if we need it, mm -hmm. need one somewhere else it's better than not having anything no i agree yeah i agree and it could hold a pretty good um, size stuff not just like little things you know mm -hmm. it's a no. good size i think it's good i mean for five bucks <laughs> shit yep for five bucks that was really good I i'm think. happy with it okay cool so you're gonna use it for pens today yeah i'm gonna set it up on my desk if you're doing small stuff you don't even have to get up from your desk if you put it over there right that's good i'm not gonna leave it up there all the time but if i'm like today i'm working with a lot of i'm about to shoot a bunch of walmart pens instead mm -hmm. of getting up and down you know nice so. and then also that way I'm gonna be shooting video games, I guess, in the other box. Yeah, so we, so we won't. So we won't get in each other's way. Yeah. Cause like yesterday, Candace was photographing stuff, and then every time I would, we were basically like, I would shoot a thing or two, and then Candace would do a thing or two, and then I would come back over here, and my stuff would, my prop prop up stuff would be all moved out of the way, and I'd have to put it back. It was only a few seconds, but still, it's nice. Yeah. Now, if we really wanted to go all out, we'd get another camera, huh? Hey, maybe I'll get you a camera for Christmas. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> we actually had a few orders come in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them now, too. I want to go ahead and get everything out that I can the next few days, especially if it's a slow shipping day. Why not? Uh, sold the Hobbit for $9.99 plus ship. And then actually sold another game. 
back here. So this Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, I think this one sold for $8.99. And then we also sold a Jerry Lewis watch from the Smalls drawer here. This guy right here. This sold for, oh wow, $39.99 plus shipping on top. Didn't you just list that Harry Potter game? Yeah. Like I just, 30 minutes ago? Mm -hmm, yeah. That's how video games go sometimes. Especially if you listen too cheap. But yeah, this uh, Jerry Lewis watch, huh? That's a good yeah. sale. Yep. Okay, Candace gave me a task a couple of days ago and I finally got everything set. She wanted me to test these lights out. And you said these sell for how much a piece? 15. 15 a piece? Mm -hmm. So we have $60 potentially worth of these things. Yeah. They go with one of the Mr. Christmas sets. Uh, actually, it was that Maestro, um, the big... Uh, Main Street one. Um, I meant I didn't mean Mr. Christmas specifically. Well, yeah, one, one of, of those, those things. Sets, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, anyway, you're all set. They work. No, I don't know. I I'm, tested one of I'm them. I'm not touching that. Why not? You know how I am. It's a, look. He guess, always makes me nervous. He like when he's testing outlets, he's poking these things in them, and I'm like, oh. all you have to do. It's only. I'm gonna hold the camera, you do it. No, you do it. No, you do it. No, I want you to do it. It's only <laughs> seven volts. It scares me. Fine, I'll do it. Okay, all you gotta do is like you just take, it, I don't know if polarity even matters. You just take a. Uh, don't touch it. Why not? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? You could get shocked. <laughs> it's only seven volts, like I said. So, yeah, that see? Works. That one works. And. The only thing you want to be kind of careful of is not to touch the two leads together because then that'll short circuit it. And then it can, uh, I mean, it's not going to do it. It's not going to hurt you still. That one works. Cool. That's $30. <laughs> $30. We're doing like the count. All right. And how's that one doing? Yep. Okay. That good. one works. Good, good. All the little lights All are working too. All the little lights too. are, yeah. Good, because we can't replace those bulbs. No. And that one works. And then that yeah. whole thing works too. So. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, and I did short circuit it, but it's so all right. So what does that mean? You have to buy no. new things? No, it's fine. You just don't want to do it. Like, there, I just turned it off. All right. Yeah, this is actually, I want to show you all this. This is a little um, old school HP desk like bench top power supply pretty nice it can go up to 30, 0 to 30 volts and it could do up to uh, half an amp 500 milliamps so was this already on there or did you add that no I just put that on there oh. I just stripped some wire and y'all got that put the terminals <laughs> down so next time you need to test something don't ask me just use this uh -uh. <laughs> nope. But yeah, that's a win. That's $60 worth of things there. I'll go get them listed now. This is a garage sale find, by the way. I think I paid $5 for it. It's not real pretty. It's got like a crack right here I or whatever. I you could probably buy something a little more compact, huh? Oh, yeah. But this works. Yeah. Works well. Hmm. While I had my little power supply out, I, ha I knew I had a CB over there. I don't even know what it's worth or anything. And I'm not going to fully test it, but I did want to at least uh, power it up make sure it it does power up and it does so i was able to just kind of twist these leads together some of them have uh cigarette lighter plugs this one did not and candace is over here shooting this clown <laughs> shooting shooting a clown <laughs> <laughs> and i think that blue background was just perfect what's that guy worth anyway well here's my thing the last time one was sold was like over like 10 years ago or so there's one with like a tall yellow hat mm -hmm. that's been sold recently couldn't find this guy except for way back so um just basing on the solds of the other style i'm just going with 30 dollars. okay I probably should ask for more because it's more rare but i mean how much can you really get for a plastic clown bank you know? no i agree no if we get 30 dollars for that i'll yeah yeah i'll be happy with that it's interesting though because he is a bank and he's got a stopper but he was also a nightlight yeah but the like, nightlight function yeah, the, that that's a cord that went in here and that's missing right 
Which I'm kind of glad. I wouldn't want somebody trying to plug it in. I've, I'm nervous sometimes with old stuff with yeah. frayed cords and stuff. And plastic. Right. Yeah. It, sometimes I'll, like, if a cord looks bad and I still want to sell a thing, a lot of times I'll cut the cord off. Yeah. Just to, like, if somebody, at that point, if somebody replaces the cord, now they've worked on it and, like, that removes some liability at least anyway i feel you know yeah. somebody replaces a cord now that's on you because now you've said that you're you're working on it you know right. so i thought he was cool though what, no. do you remember we paid we got it at that estate sale where we got the the mar marble mar oh that yeah okay did we yeah didn't we I mean, I think no. Maybe, no, no. Yeah, no i don't know i don't know i have honestly i don't remember that clown at all <laughs> at all not even a little that's bit that's where we got him i can't imagine paying more than five dollars for it though no you didn't pay that much uh -uh. no because you candace was ready to fight when to, <laughs> about paying five dollars for, for the shrimp sh and you just you just listed the shrimp too didn't you uh, for 30 30 bucks for the shrimp okay yeah. maybe i did 40 you, i thought you did 40 somebody sold one recently for 65 um just like ours no but that was the highest one on record though right uh, most of the others go for around 20 but my thought was okay how did they get 65 maybe at the time that they sold theirs it was the only one available that's right so maybe that'll maybe we'll get lucky and get 40 for ours that once all the cheaper ones sell out that's right i mean that that's a good point yeah because it, like uh, we all you know everyone goes off of sold comps and you should like sold comps are the best measure of the value as long as they look like legitimate comps but as a buyer buyers don't a buyer probably will rarely click on you know they'll, they'll look for the thing and they find it and there's only one there are they going to click on sold to see if the one that's there is priced in line with ones that sold in the past yeah what do you think i say i think probably, probably not. not or in the case of my clown they're not going to go to worth point and find it from 2013 that it only went for like eighteen dollars right exactly yeah, so, so yeah so it's not always so, so a lot of times when we do our comps it's not just on solds we kind of go and look at the actives right. too like okay if solds are 20 but everybody else currently is asking 40 we won't necessarily go 40 but we may go like 25 right you know? yep just kind of how you have to kind of watch the market and see what it's doing and that only a lot of that only applies to your uh more uncommon or rare items yeah you know most stuff we list i would say 90 percent 90 percent or more of the stuff we list like you've got solid comps and yeah there's a price yeah that you can get or whatever so yeah it's just those unusual items yeah so we're gonna we're gonna continue plodding along here and um uh, listing some just stuff off of this thing look i hate even looking at that thing well i pull up did list some converse earlier that have been sitting there a good month or two the longer 30 bucks yeah i don't know why they were there that long they were on the bottom shelf and they needed to be cleaned and i just didn't feel like it yeah we need to list that too this is going up today too yeah yeah that's your next project you, you get to figure out how to how to adjust the price based on the age and condition and whatnot we gotta search menus and see what your ours is <laughs> Because we determined it's not the year on there. It, no, that's it says when the, that's when the company was founded. Yeah, it's just like think. the just like the peanuts, uh, comic comic. Uh, right, or comics. Barbies. They're or the Hot same. Wheels. Hot Wheels are like that too. Well, you know, the date on the body is not necessarily when oh, it was produced. Right. Well, the, well, the date on the body of Hot Wheels. Is when the mold is when the mold was made so when the barbies mold. are like that too right i'll i'll come across people trying to sell their barbies you know like on facebook or whatever and they'll say oh 1963 barbie and it's clearly like from the 70s i mean you can tell by the the face and stuff i can't tell but you right. can tell but yeah you can't always go by dates on stuff that's usually when the actual mold was made well in this case this is probably the trademark date or Right. or whatever so right. yeah all right so that's going to be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching i'm holding a it doesn't even have an edge on it so i'm not threatening you guys you thanks a bunch somebody with that it's pretty heavy well i mean you could knock them out
you go clang <laughs> but uh yeah thanks so much for watching and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all i'm gonna wave my cleaver at you i'm gonna wave my clown at you <laughs> <laughs>